A very good evening, Dutch bike blogger here on his way home from work. And as you can see, it's dark outside. Well, again, changed by setting of my camera. 1080p 60 frames a second, ISO 1600, and the EV, I don't know what it's for, but set to maximum plus. So, using low light settings, and also have switched on the low light, set, light settings, which came in the software version 1.5.1. It's dry, it's not that cold. No rain, wearing my pants, no jacket, only a t-shirt, the one I wore this afternoon. And I have my bike lights on my bicycle, as you can see. And actually you can see something. Again, not sure if the camera will pick it up. But I'm very much visible at the moment. As you can see, there is also lights everywhere, buildings are lit, street lights. So it was a busy day, one day at work and then we are having a, again a weekend, the week went very fast. <laughs> I've even forgot to switch on my regular light. <laughs> Crazy. Well, over the noon bike lane at night. Let's see how that works out. <coughs> well, as you can see, it's quite dark here. No street lights at the moment. Not at this point, at least. And that's where the lights in on my bike comes in handy. Here's the street lights, but way too far away from the, the bike lane. Somebody parked his car here. Not sure why. This light is not working. Well, there has to be done some work at the lights. The bike lane was delivered December 5th. It's still not ready. 
And uh, let's see how the lights will be on the crossing on the Eikenlaan. It was said that it was would be changed. Good thinking. The only thing it's lit at the moment is this the football field in the distance to one o'clock or so. Well, be careful going here. When these lights are out on the football field, it will be a dark corner here. Well, I can see everything with my eyes. I have to look closely. And hopefully the camera will see something like what I'm seeing because otherwise the settings will change for no reason. Well, as I can far I can see and judge, the street lights here are emitting a somewhat yellow light. Don't know if the camera will pick it up. Still testing. Testing, testing. I think I'm gonna name this video a low light test. Because it is a test of low light setting in dark conditions. And although it could be better, uh, lights, more light, I think I'm really visible for other people. Cars, pedestrians, other bike riders, and that's what counts. It's important to be visible. The same is that I'm when I would uh, be riding outside of the city where the light was not as good as here, then I would change to another bike light. Bike light with more power, more, le more lumens, and rechargeable. But the thing is working on batteries. I have spare batteries with me, by the way. But that's sure what I would do. Not only to be visible outside when it's dark, but and this comes to the matter that you can see for yourself some things. As you can see, also some yellowish street lights. Make a left here.
Well, not a ride home. And sure, I'm not going to sleep that late as I did yesterday. Actually, it was four o'clock when I slept. I'm still amazed that I drive on my bike so much faster than other people despite I have a very regular bike not fancy just a big old black bike 50 years old big tires on it heavy bike overtaken a real e-bike with no lights strange if you have an e-bike with no lights looks to see enough on board but nope just don't care enough about me myself and other people so that's why you ride in the dark Well, almost home. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below, like always. And see you tomorrow, probably. Thanks for watching. Take care.